start by providing you with some uh, general remarks uh, about the program. Uh, I apologize in advance, uh, should there be any overlapping with other presentations, but uh, I'll go through these points quite uh, quickly to focus uh, instead on the career possibilities, career opportunities uh, uh, of the MSCA uh, postdoctoral fellowships. So after covering these few general points, uh, I will uh, then delve into uh, the specific uh, um, this, this set of opportunities uh, that the program represents uh, for researchers. So the general objective of postdoctoral fellowships uh, are summarized in this uh, slide. The goal, the general goal of the scheme is to enhance uh, the creative and uh, innovative potential of researchers uh, holding a PhD, wishing to acquire new skills uh, through advanced training, international, intersectoral, and uh, interdisciplinary mobility. MSCA postdoctoral fellowships are open to excellent researchers of any nationality, including researchers wishing uh, uh, to reintegrate in Europe, researchers who are displaced uh, by conflict, as well as researchers with high potential aiming for a career restart in research. The scheme also encourages researchers to work uh, on research and innovation projects in the non-academic sector. Through the implementation of an original and personalized research project, MSCA postdoctoral fellowships aim to foster excellence through training and mobility and to equip researchers with new, skill, new skills and competencies in order to identify solutions uh, to current and future challenges. There are two types of postdoctoral fellowships. The first one is called European Postdoctoral Fellowship, and it's open to researchers moving within Europe or coming to Europe from another part of the world to develop their research career. These fellowships uh, takes pla take place in a European member state or Horizon Europe associated country and can last between one to two years. Some researchers of any nationality can apply. The second type is the Global Postdoctoral Fellowship. Uh, this one funds the mobility of researchers outside Europe. The fellowship lasts between two and three years. Uh, of which the first one to two uh, will be spent in a non-associated third country, followed by a mandatory return phase of one year to an organization based uh, in a European member or associate count, uh, member state or associated country. Only nationals or long-term residents uh, of the EU member states uh, or horizon associated uh, countries can apply. Both types of fellowships may also include short-term secondments uh, and uh, uh, anywhere, anywhere in the world during the fellowship, except during the return phase of the global. In an effort to bring bridges and boost the career uh, between the academic and non-academic sector, researchers can receive additional support to carry out a placement of up to six months in a non-academic organization based in member and associated member states and associated countries. This place displacements needs to take place at the end of the fellowship. The main principles applying to the MSCA postdoctoral fellowships are uh, for, uh, first and foremost excellence. The scheme focuses on excellence in various aspects. Uh, excellence in, uh, uh, does not only apply to the individual fellowships uh, uh, to the individual fellows, sorry, supported or the collaborations fostered and the knowledge transferred, but also to the research and innovation methodologies applied. The research uh, conducted as well as the training, supervision and car career guidance provided. 
uh, long-term investment in people pays off, as indicated in Teralia, by the number of uh, uh, Nobel Prize winners who have been either former MSCA fellows or supervisors. The second point is mobility. The MSCA are based on the principle of physical mobility. Researchers who receive funding have to move from one country to another to get new knowledge, skill and competencies and develop their research career. Researchers also uh, are also strongly encouraged to move between sectors and disciplines. While virtual mobility does not have the same well-rounded impact uh, on the development uh, of individuals and sustainable cooperation among organizations as physical mobility, it can, however, complement it, facilitate the long-distance uh, collaboration, and be an effective means to foster achieving research and training objectives. In this regard, uh, all MSCA proposals are encouraged to explore opportunities offered by e-infrastructures and related services. The last point, as about supervision, the MSCA promotes effective supervision, which contributes to creating a supportive environment for the researchers to conduct their work. In line with the principles set out in the Charter and Code, MSCA beneficiaries must ensure fitting the supervision or mentoring and appropriate career guidance. Supervision is one of the crucial elements of successful research. Guiding, supporting, directing, advising, and mentoring are key factors for a research to follow his or her career path. The expected impact um, postdoctoral researchers are encouraged to engage with society at large uh, to make the results of their uh, research visible to citizens uh, and to involve citizens, civil society and end users in co-creation of research content when relevant. Proposals uh, under uh, this action, the postdoctoral fellowship, uh, should contribute to the following uh, expected impacts, uh, enhance the creative and innovative potential of researchers wishing to diversify their individual competencies and skills through advanced training, international interdisciplinary mobility while implementing excellent research, strengthen Europe's human capital uh, base uh, in research and innovation with better trained and innovative researchers, enhance the quality of research and innovation contributing to Europe's growth, activeness as a leading destination, uh, sorry, attractiveness as a leading destination for research and innovation and for good working conditions. Uh, this is very important, good working conditions of researchers, facilitate the knowledge transfer and brain circulation across the European research area and then foster the culture of open science, innovation, and entrepreneurship. Sorry. The expected outcome, uh, regarding the expected outcome, project uh, results uh, are, expected to, uh, are expected to contribute uh, to the following outcomes. For supported postdoctoral fellows, increased set of research and transferable skill and competencies, leading to improve employability and career prospects of fellows within academia and beyond. So this is a, a, an important point regarding the placement in the non-academic sector, because uh, for the uh, Marie Sklodowska Curie postdoctoral uh, fellowship, um, the non-academic sector is a point of uh, great uh, interest. So the fellowship can provide an additional period of up to six months to support researchers. So opting for a placement at the end of the project to work on research and innovation projects in an organization from a non-academic sector established in a UN member state or Horizon Europe associated country. While this possibility is also available to fellows recruited in a non-academic sector, such a placement must be implemented at a different non-academic host organization. This aspect 
aims at promoting career moves between sectors and organizations and thereby stimulate innovation and knowledge transfer while expanding career opportunities for researchers. This point, seal of excellence, uh, has already been mentioned because there are some uh, news uh, about the career of the seal of excellence holders. Uh, seal of excellence in Italy. Seal of excellence will be awarded to applications with a total score equal to or higher than 85%, but which cannot be fund, funded due to a lack of budget available to the call. The seal of excellence certifies the high quality of the project proposal and can actively build the reputation of researchers' projects and their career. So I would like to take a moment uh, in this closing part of the presentation to delve briefly into the Italian regulations concerning the advancement of career opportunities for MSCA postdoctoral fellows and now also for the seal of excellence holders. Uh, regarding the career development plan, an important step was taken in Italy as early as in 2015 with the issue, uh, issuance of a decree aimed at providing stability to recipients of ERC grants and MSCA Global Postdoctoral Fellowship. Specifically, Ministerial Decree number 963 of December 28 was introduced to identify highly qualified research programs funded by European Europe, uh, European Union. Ever since, uh, the winners of these programs can be directly appointed by universities to positions as full associate or assistant professors, depending on the type of grant received. It is worth noting that these programs must have a minimum duration of three years and at the time of the appointment proposal uh, should not have concluded for more than three years. I personally experienced the benefits of this legislation uh, in 2016 when I was uh, uh, awarded an ERC starting grant as uh, Angel Angela mentioned and uh, I secured uh, uh, a tenured position at the University U of Venice. It was really a transformative opportunity that significantly advanced my career. Building upon this development, so further measures were implemented in 2022 within the context of the National Recovery and Resilience Plan. The plan aims to support the entry or return of young researchers to Italy. The decree uh, number 894 pertains to call and, uh, and uh, uh, recruit in Italian university and public research institutions specifically uh, and is specifically addressed to recipients of ERC starting grant, uh, postdoctoral, MSCA postdoctoral fellowships, as well as researchers who have uh, obtained the seal of excellence. The total investment allocated for this initiative amounted to uh, 600 million euros. As part of these efforts, winners of Marie Sklodowska Curie postdoctoral fellowships along with researchers who have obtained the seal of excellence have been appointed a fixed term researchers within a three year contract. Uh, to conclude, uh, the MSCA postdoctoral fellowships uh, strongly contribute to excellent research, boosting jobs and therefore careers, growth and investment by equipping researchers with new knowledge and skills and providing them with an international as well as uh, intersectoral exposure, exposure to fill the top positions of tomorrow. Uh, Positive structuring effects include increasing the quality of researchers' training and supervision offered, strengthening research capacity, improving human resources practices and procedures, and providing fairer and more attractive working conditions for researchers, including through career guidance and develop, the development. Uh, last but not least, building new and sustainable intersection, intersectional and uh, um, international partnerships and networks, better transfer 
of knowledge between sectors and disciplines, enhancing researchers' global reputation and visibility. So thank you for your attention and good luck with your applications. Thank you.